Hello and welcome to a new video. In this video we are going to do exploratory data analysis on a Netflix dataset. Our dataset contains information about Netflix users and I'm going to leave its link for you to download in the description of this video. We can directly start with importing the necessary libraries. We are going to import pandas as pd import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and we are going to import seaborn as sns and we are going to run the first thing we need to do here is we are going to read our data with pandas we are going to say df is going to be a queue to the pd.read csv and our data set name is netflix user base here it is we are going to run this let's display the first few rows of the data set for seeing if it's read successfully we are going to check this like this and we can see our data set here we have columns like user ID, subscription type, monthly revenue, join date, last payment date, country, age, gender, device and plan duration. We have both integer and string values and date values also. And we are going to do some analysis, we are going to do some group by operations and some visualizations with this data set now. Let's start by getting the summary statistics of our data. We are going to use df.describe for this and it's going to return the numerical summaries of the numeric columns. We can see that average age is 38 and average monthly revenue per user is $12. Let's get the information like the data types, memory usage. We are going to use df.info for this. From here we can see the range index, data types. We have three integers, seven objects and we can see the memory usage and non-new values each column contains and information like that. Let's get the count of the unique values in each column. We are going to use number of uniques for this. When we run this, we are going to see the information. This is a really useful method for getting a general information about our data set. We can see that we have three plans on subscription types and we have six different monthly revenue types. We have 10 different countries, 26 different age values, two genders, four devices, and only one plan duration. Now check if we have any missing values. For this, we are going to say is now, and we are going to say sum, and we don't have any. Also, you can use like is na like this, and it's going to return the same information. Now let's get into the group buys. Let's group by subscription type and calculate the average monthly revenue. For this, we are going to say average revenue by subscription is going to be equal to the DF group by and we are going to group by subscription type and we are going to get monthly revenue mean. And let's print this information. We can see that our average revenue by the basic, premium and standard subscription information like this. Now group by country and count the number of users in each country. For this we are going to say user count by country and it's going to be equal to the df.group by country and we are going to get the information about we are going to count it with user id and we are going to use dot count method here and i'm going to run this so let's print this from here we can see that we have two maximum values united states and spain the most of the users are from there and i'm trying to find the list these all have the same value 183 Let's group by plan duration and calculate the median age of users in each plan. For this we are going to say median age by plan duration. And it's going to be equal to the df.group by plan duration. And we are going to take the age mean, I'm sorry, median. And when we run this we can get the information like print median age by plan duration and when we run this we can see that it's 39. 
if we had like other type of plans in our data set like three months six months or 12 months it's going to be displayed like this like we can see all that information like this but since we have only one value in plan duration we only get a single value now we are going to group our data by gender and calculate the total monthly revenue generated from each gender for this we are going to say total revenue by gender is going to be equal to the df.group by gender and we are going to say monthly revenue and we are going to use that sum here and we are going to run this let's print the information we have we can see that we are generating more income from the female users now we are going to group our data by device and find the average age of users for each device type for this we are going to say average age by device is going to be equal to the df.group by device and we are going to take age and mean here and we are going to print this information average age by device we can see that laptop users are older than the other ones but it's i don't think it's a significant amount but we got the information anyway now let's create some data visualizations we are going to create a scatter plot of age versus monthly revenue covered by gender for this we are going to start by plt.figure we are going to set figure size 10 and 6 we are going to use seaborn sns.scatter plot we are going to say x is going to be equal to the age y is going to be equal to the monthly revenue and hue is going to be equal to the gender and data is going to be equal to the df we are going to add a title like plt.title we are going to say age versus monthly revenue covered by gender and now we are going to add an x label as age and y label as monthly revenue and we are going to use plt.show here for getting our graph displayed seems great now we are going to create bar plot of average monthly revenue by country for this we are going to use a group by again we are going to say average revenue by country and it's going to be equal to the df group by country and we are going to take the values of monthly revenue dot mean and let's use reset index here we are going to use bar plot from seaborn x is going to be equal to the country and y is going to be equal to the monthly revenue and data is going to be equal to the average revenue by country we are going to select it from here we are going to say plt.title is going to be equal to the average monthly revenue by country and x label is going to be equal to the country and y label is going to be equal to the average monthly revenue and let's set x text rotation is equal to the 90 and let's use plt.show we can see that we have a really good looking bar plot here which shows the average monthly revenue by countries now we are going to create a pair plot to explore relationships between numerical variables for this we are going to create a list of numerical columns like monthly we have two revenue we are not going to take user id because it's nonsense we are going to say sns that pay plot df numerical we are not going to use quotes on their numerical columns and we are going to say plt subtitle 
pay a plot of monthly revenue and age and we are going to say y equals to 1.02 and let's use plt.show here we can see that our pair plot is displayed in here and it's looking nice now we are going to make data visualizations based on the distributions of some columns let's visualize the information about subscription type for this we are going to say let's use seaborn for this also count plot and x is going to be equal to the subscription type and data is going to be equal to the data frame we have we are going to say plt.title and subscription type distribution let's also capitalize this we are going to say plt that let me scroll down a little bit x label is going to be equal to the subscription type y label equals to the count of it x text let's set 45 and we are going to use plt.show here we can see that we have mostly the basic value and the least one is the premium okay we just visualized a non-numeric column like this but what if we want to visualize a numeric column the distribution of it for this we are going to use histogram plot let's visualize the distribution of revenue for this we are going to use sns.histogram plot df monthly revenue and let's set bins to 10 and set this we are going to say for title monthly revenue distribution x label is going to be equal to the monthly revenue and y label is going to be equal to the count and let's use plt.show here in this way we can see its distribution we can also change bin values here like let's use 20 here or let's use 5 and run this and let's visualize the devices like we are going to say sns.countplot again and x is going to be equal to the device and data is going to be equal to the data frame we have we are going to say title is going to be equal to the device distribution and x label is going to be equal to the device y label is going to be equal to the count and we are going to set x text here rotation is going to be equal to the 45 and we are going to use plt.show it seems great for the ending let's create a one more histogram plot with the variable h for this we are going to say sns histogram plot and it's going to be taking h column we have and let's set bins as 5 and this true title is going to be age distribution x label is going to be equal to the age and y label is going to be equal to the count let's use plt.show for the last time and we can see the age distribution here like this that was all for this video thanks for watching if you liked the video you can subscribe to my channel for seeing more content like this have a great day